want to create effortless presentations that actually engage your audience, these are nine PowerPoint tips and tricks that you'll wish that you knew sooner. From storytelling to impressive transitions and new Copilot chat features available to everyone. Hi, I'm Amy. Let's nerd out. At Amy's Animal Shop, we are creating a presentation for our Q4 marketing strategy. And tip number one is to use storytelling to engage your audience. So we can see here that in this example, we are taking our audience on a tour of the animal kingdom. And each animal represents a key component of this presentation. We can see already that this visual map is a lot more engaging than presenting our agenda in a bullet list. And I use a similar metaphor in my Microsoft Teams group training where we go on a field trip to the fair. So these simple metaphors are a great way to keep your audience engaged and take them on a journey throughout the presentation. Tip number two is how we can use the morph transition for a seamless flow. And this works really cool with a visual agenda, just like this animal kingdom tour. So what we're going to do is just right click on the slide and then go duplicate slide. And I'm just going to do that once more. Now on this middle slide, we are going to enlarge this image so that we can basically zoom in on the marketing goals. Okay, so once you have enlarged your second slide, then we're just going to do one more thing and then we'll apply that transition. So I'm going to go to the insert tab. I'm gonna select the icons and I'm going to search for pin. We'll select this pin and just pop that here. And then I'm just going to go up to graphics format and we'll just give it a different color. Perfect. So now I'm going to control C to copy this. I'm just going to paste it, control V, onto these other slides. So we'll start off at the overview and then we will control V and we're going to zoom out on the marketing here. So the reason why we need to copy and duplicate these elements is because for the morph transition to work, we need to have identical items. So now we are going to select the slide that we want to apply the transition to. And in this case, we're going to apply a transition between one and two. And so we're going to apply the transition feature to the second slide. So we'll go up to transitions and then we'll select morph. And we'll see that we get a really cool transition. One more time, we will click on the second slide and go to morph. And then now we get that zoomed out. So we can use these transitions to really create a nice visual and take our audience on that storytelling journey with this agenda. Tip number three is how we can use Copilot chat to generate custom images. So we will head up to this Copilot icon on the top right and just select it to expand the chat area. And I just wanted to note that Copilot chat has just been released to all users inside of the Microsoft 365 apps, regardless of whether you have a Copilot add-on license. So this has just been released. So you may not have this Copilot icon yet, it should be coming to you really soon. And there are a ton of new features that this unlocks. And I have included another tutorial in the description on how to use Copilot chat for everybody inside of the Microsoft 365 apps. And one of those features is image generation. So inside of this prompt area, we are going to ask Copilot to create an image of an ostrich with its head in the sand. So this does take about a minute for Copilot to generate the images. However, it is a great way to get unique copyright safe images that are tailored to your message. So to easily insert this image into our PowerPoint presentation, you can hover over the image, you could copy it and then just go control V and paste it where you would like, or we can simply click this plus icon to insert the image into our PowerPoint presentation. Tip number four is how we can crop our images to shape for better framing and just to create more depth on our slides. So we will select this image, then go to picture format, and then select this little drop down by crop and go crop to shape. Here we can select from an array of shapes and I'm just going to select this teardrop. We can then resize our image. And now I'm just going to right click on our title, go bring it to the front. And then I'm going to now select all of the elements on this page and just go to arrange and then align and then align in the middle. 
Tip number five is to use pattern interrupts. So for example, this slide here that says don't be an ostrich, it is unexpected and that is exactly why it works. I got the idea for this tip from this audiobook of Stephen Bartlett's and it's called A Diary of a CEO with 33 Laws. And every single chapter or law of this book starts off with something so absurd. So for example, don't be an ostrich is the opening line, but it creates engagement. And the metaphor behind it is that we often avoid uncomfortable truths. So we're burying our heads in the sand instead of facing what's not working. And this ties into so many other things with presentations. For example, a picture says a thousand words, and this leads us to our next point. Tip number six is to use presenter notes to keep your slides clean. Now, starting off with this slide, there is far too much text here. Generally speaking, you want to aim for 30 words per slide, and this one has over 60. This is far too much text. You're going to lose engagement because your audience is going to be reading the text on the slide rather than listening to what you have to say. So over the next few tips, we are going to transform the slide into something that's engaging starting off with these presenter notes. So let's click in this text box here, go Control A, Control C to copy it. And then down on the bottom here, we have a button for notes. So I'm going to click on that, and then I'm just going to expand this area to have more space. So I'm going to Control V to paste our presenter notes. And then now when we go up to Slideshow and go from current slide, then this brings us to the presenter view where you can now have all of those notes and those talking points for you to review for the presentation. So next we are going to learn how we can clean up the slide and make it more engaging. Tip number seven, we are going to use Copilot Chat to help us rewrite our text. We're going to head up to the Copilot icon on the top right. I'm just going to start off with a new chat to give me a clean slate. And then in the message area or the prompt box, I'm going to ask Copilot to summarize the following into three main bullet points three words max each. And I'm going to click in the text box, select my text, and we're going to control V to paste it into the prompt area and click generate. So Copilot is now going to rewrite the text however you want. So you can have Copilot to make things more concise or longer or even to adjust the tone. The world is really your oyster here on what Copilot can do with your text. So if we scroll on down, and we can see that we now have these bullet points. And for some reason, it's including these references. So I'm just going to ask it to remove those. And here you go. Now we have those clean bullet point items. And this is also a great example of how you can chat with Copilot. Simply saying remove references can tidy up the output. Now we are ready to copy our response and move on to tip number eight. Tip number eight is how we can use Designer to transform our slides. So I'm just going to Control A to delete all this text and then paste that simplified text that Copilot generated for us. And then now we can go up to this design suggestions on the home tab. And it is now going to suggest some different ways that we can lay out the content on our slide. So you can see here that we do have some visuals, which is what I was going for, but I'm not really a fan of these options. So what I do suggest sometimes, if you're not happy with these options, you could go see more design suggestions, but sometimes it's best to just start off fresh. So we can right click in the slide area, go new slide, and then right click again to go to layout and then just change the layout that you would like. And now I'm just going to paste this text here. We can see that we're now getting some bigger visuals on the slide, which are going to provide a visual cue for your talking point. Tip number nine is how we can use animations to reveal each of these items step by step. So let's select the object. We can go up to animations. I'm just going to select the float in. And right now by default, they are all floating in together. However, if we select this effect options, we can then go one by one. And you'll notice on the right here that these all come in on a click sequence. So if we go into the slideshow, once again, we'll present from that current slide. And now in the presenter view, where we have a preview of our slide with those notes for our key talking points, we can present our presentation and on each of the clicks down below here, a new item will appear. So if we click again and click again, we can see here that this is a far cleaner slide and people are actually going to listen to you and pay attention to what you have because they aren't going to be too busy reading 
all of the text that is on this slide here. Let me know what your favorite PowerPoint tip is down below. If I didn't cover it today, then I can compile all of those into a new video for all of you. And if you enjoyed this content, also please hit that subscribe button because over 90% of you watching right now are not subscribed and it helps me out far more than you could imagine. Then you can watch this video here, which is how you can use Copilot chat inside of the Microsoft 365 apps. And that feature is now available to everyone, regardless of whether you have that Copilot add-on license or not.